bring it home. We bring it home. Uh, so if you with me, let me know. Let's bring it home. Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we have a team tonight that is coming off a win. Probably feel pretty good about themselves. What do you tell them? Well, you tell them, let's play the same way we did in the prior game, Doc. They did everything that they wanted to get accomplished. They managed the puck extremely well. They got timely goals. They played really well without the puck in their own zone. And let's worry about what we can do, not necessarily what the other team's strengths are. The Coyotes got to stick to the game plan here tonight, Doc. They played a real good team game in their prior win. And one of the reasons for that, they had great communication both on and off the ice. Let's see if that continues here tonight. Let's look at the starting netminders. He gets the call to the crease despite losing that last game. No surprise he's starting this game. He won the last one. As we get set for puck drop, teams often want to set a physical presence early in the game, so no surprise that the coach tap does. Bufflin to take the first shift. We are in Philadelphia, and play has just begun. The Coyotes added a W to their stats in their last game by executing on their plan very effectively. Break side we go now, and here is Ray Ferraro. These games are always tricky to handicap because one of the teams has traveled a long way, likely in the middle of a road trip, to get to this game. You have to be really careful about saying which team is better when they play just once or twice in the regular season. Thanks very much, Ray. Great job in his own end with that interception. Puck still in the zone. Gathered up again by P.K. Subban. He is hooked. He kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. 
Philadelphia's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is booking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. The Coyotes are getting their first power play crack of the game. Well, the power play guys have to go to work now. This is an opportunity they hope for. You want one early, and you want to see if you can get on the board first. Three minutes, 54 seconds. Philadelphia setting up an offense from the wing. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Turned away with a stick. Wheeler's trying for the neutral ice. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. The Coyotes were telling us this morning that they feel they're on the cusp of breaking out of this poor game stretch that they've had. They've turned the puck over, they've given up offensive chances, and they've just not generated enough to... We'll see if they can play in the offensive zone a lot more tonight. Puck went just outside the blue line, and so everybody has to get back. Scooped up by Boychuk. Pass attempt to Wheeler. Can start the attack going in the zone. Directing that one to Schwartz. And in flight over the line. Philadelphia's good with that penalty kill, so we're back at full strength. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. At least he protected his goaltender. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. The Coyotes are given a hooking minor. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Flyers are hoping to get one out of one on the power play. So their first power play gives them a chance to get one on the board here. Arizona penalty to number the Coyotes. Steps in from the neutral zone. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Ekblad's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Face-off about to take place. Both teams with four skaters. A little more real estate per guy out there. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to get a scoring chance on a four-on-four. Four. One guy gets beat by a half a stride. It's game on. Outstanding body contact. Oh, it's the open ice hits that hurt the most. That is a solid shoulder check there. Arizona's carrying it in the defensive zone. And now it's directed to Oshie. Shoots that one right off his head. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. On to Anisimov. And it's all. The puck hits the post low and stays out. Now frustrating on that pass. It came back over the blue line and the coach noticed. Smart recovery by P.K. Subban. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Parking area located beneath the stadium. Philadelphia's got it again. Drives it. What a save! I was looking for the light to come on. Slid to Schwartz. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Wonderful stop. I like high event games. This start is very low event. Not very much happening. No shots, no chances. Smart recovery by P.K. Subban. Looking to Pavelski. Gains the zone. Perfect, Rister. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Schwartz doesn't take a back seat to too many players. He is a skilled player, but he uses the... They score!
better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. The Coyotes have gotten the first goal of the game. Perhaps they can carry that off the ice with them. And that's a face-off win. Passing one off now to Yarncroft. Assisted by number eight. Backhander to the net. Loud pad save. Holds on and gets that whistle. Just under three minutes still to play in this period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. And angled to Zaitsev. Brings it in for an attack. Good place to shoot from. And a save. The Flyers have it at center ice. In between the blue lines, a great job on the cut pass by Kane. And so this is sent back down, and icing is called. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. Clean win on the draw. Snapping a pass to Kane. Stick is no good on that shot. A busted stick on a play like that? Oh. And the first period ends. Arizona's connected once, and that's the only goal. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online... Schwartz's goal late in the period has broken the tie. Let's go to break. We have begun the second period. Ripped along to Pavelski. Heaves one. Grabbed. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Good setup off the win. To Eichel. Puck is thrown to Van Riemsdyk. What a tremendous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Terrific determination by Schwartz. The shot is off. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Good intercept in his own end. Trying to go to Pavelski. Good solid defensive play with the stick. The Flyers wheel one ahead up the wing. Tremendous hit. Eichel's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room, but he gets tagged there. The Flyers lug the puck in the defensive zone. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Pitching it to Ehlers. Fires. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. Michael's been in discomfort since this hit here.
Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Crosses that line. Score! Oshie's wrist shot was heavy and quick. That's a beautiful move. He lays this across, and this puck is put into the net very quickly. Arizona's built a two-to-nothing lead, and the sky's the limit the way they've been playing. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Really good cut of the pass. Assisted by number nine. Pitching this one to Ekblad. Moving it to Oshie. Oh, what a hit there. That hit's going to rattle him all night. Top to bottom, he got wrecked on that one. Collected by Kane. And that pass really misfired, and so they must drop back. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Pass attempt to Oshie. Gains that offensive line. Cut that pass in his own end. Face off upcoming. Offside. They have sold out every game lately, and he has to help the players, right? You take it for granted when there aren't fannies in the seat, Doc. You love when there's a full house because it gives you a lot of energy each and every night. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Made that stop. He's trying to spring him ahead, and he's got him. Steps across that line. And a save. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. The Coyotes always want to play a physical game, and their leader is right here. He always has among the highest hit totals in the league. He is a pinball on ice. Good job on the draw. Can he generate something from there? Tries to get it on net. Oh, my. That one was way wide. Wow, Doc. He was in the slot and shot that well off the target. I don't know how he missed him there. That hit somebody. And he is reefed. Good work up front on that hit. Alexiak's ailing, but he can't get off the ice. He's going to have to try and finish the shift. An enormous hit. Directing that one to Pavelski. Big drive! Oh, what a save. Freezes play. Alexiak's injury occurs on this play. You can hear the collision from where I'm standing. Quick work on the faceoff. Very effective defensive play. Sometimes you just run out of real estate, nowhere to go when he had to take the big hit. Oh, did he ever get mashed? The Coyotes are skating it up in neutral ice. Puts one on. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Forty minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. We take a look at the shots on goal through two periods. 12 for Arizona and 8 for Philadelphia. Hey fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the... The Coyotes have a two-goal lead, and the one that made it two was this one. We'll be right back. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Philadelphia's had very little time of possession, Doc. They've been outplayed in that category big time, but they're still in this game. One shot, and they're right in it. And so the opening face off of period number three. He cut him down on that rush, and he dumps it in. Now it's directed to Wheeler. Picked up in the attacking zone. A terrific scoring chance denied. 
Ward's had a very good night, but he's had long stretches of inactivity. And between shots, his team has put up a couple of goals. He's one. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. Michael's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot, just snap it home. That's a save a goaltender's got to make, Edzo. Low glove side, got to be able to catch that. The Flyers have done a great job of giving their fans hope. They fought back and cut the lead to just one. The Coyotes control from the faceoff. Gets in, looks over his options here. Oh, and he missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Looking to yarn crop. And they are in. He's going right to the net. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Oh, she's tripped up. That should be a penalty. And play is stopped for a penalty. The Flyers have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. A shot. Save with a blocker. Try to clear the puck. The Flyers shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Nicely received at the point. That's the way to make him pay. Well, that's a good open ice hit right there. You catch him with his head down just for an instant. You close the gap and finish the check. Passing one off now to Boychuk. Flings it. Can you say ping? Another goal would go a long way to being able to take the foot off the pedal a little bit here, but the game stays close as this puck doesn't go in. Snapping a pass to Kane. Quick wrist shot. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. And this penalty will wipe out the power play. Kane's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Four players aside, and so we'll see what develops here. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances, four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Design set. Terrific poke check. Able to get behind the net. Oh, and a big save grab of the glove. That shift was looking really dangerous with all that pressure. The goalie finally got possession. He freezes the puck to slow things down. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. Just under nine minutes played here in the third. Philadelphia's gotten back to within one in this game. Solid clean win. Carried through center ice by Komarov. A slot wrister blocked. Propelled to Gostas Bear. To Eichel. Eichel's goal was a big one. It got his team within one. Van Riemsdyk's the guy that got hit yet again. Gains the zone. Terrific shot, but a denial. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Nice face-off work. Arizona's back to full strength. They've killed off the penalty. Puck is thrown to Butcher. He's got it. Trying to go to Bozak. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. 
almost out of nowhere, the defender steps into him. That hurts. Each team has tried to force their will onto the game at various points tonight, but there is no spread in the game. Two evenly matched teams playing a tight game. Whoa, what a play! It's dumped in. The Coyotes with possession in the defensive zone. Pitching it to Wheeler. Open ice hitting is not dead. Great save. Oshie's banged up here as he works his way back to the bench. I can see the trainer working his way down to his end. When you have the puck, you better keep your head up. He drops his head just for a moment here, and he gets absolutely steamrolled. The Flyers with a face-off win. Pitching this one to Van Riemsdyk. Moving it to Ehlers. Cute, just like shootout. Stands his ground on the breakaway. Laid on to Bozak. Turned a shot on net. Save. He covers and holds on. The equipment guys and the dressing room personnel are important. They've gathered up the towels and picked up the tape from the last opponent, and now they'll get ready to take care of things after this new opponent has finished up for the evening. The home fans hope that they'll have frowns on their faces by the time they pull out, because this is a long home stand. Pass attempt to Ehlers. Biggest chance of the game. An absolutely remarkable save. He didn't buy all of those moves. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. Ward's been the one key reason that his team's been able to hold on to this lead. He's faced a high percentage of top quality shots. He stopped virtually everything. Last minute of play in a terrific game, and it's still up for grabs. Carries it on in from center. Take it away. Arizona's back in its own end, trying to work forward. And sent down to Pavelski. And the puck exits the zone, breaking up the play. Directing that one to Buffalo. And it is an icing, and back it comes. And check the clock, there's not much time. He uses the stick to control where the rebound goes, so there's no second opportunity. Important face-off win. Now it's directed to Bozak. In with it now. Not a free puck now. Outlet up the middle to Armia. It's all on his shoulders. Stop! And this one is all tied up. I think the goalie almost came by himself there. The coaches really didn't signal too much to him. But once he gets to the bench, they get the extra man on the ice and find a way to score. Eichel's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? The Coyotes with a center ice faceoff win. Nicely done with the interception. A big, big hit. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. And he shoots. Save there. 60 minutes solved. Nothing. They will dig down for more adrenaline because overtime is next. The Flyers have carried this game into overtime. Play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment.
We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. Walking a thin line near the border there. Eichel's feeling it tonight. Two goals so far. Blocked away. Looking to Anisimo. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Wonderful stop. Passing one off now to Ekblad. Snapping a pass to Eichel. Fires. Great save. Point blank. A missed opportunity from this close in. If you're going to score in a 2 on one guys, you've got to attack much quicker than that. Easy save. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Start the bar. And the overtime is finished. The buzzer ends this contest. Arizona's performance was terrific, but they have lost in sudden death. Something to build on moving forward. raise their sticks to salute their fans. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.